Welcome to the video tutorial on managing processes in Linux. So what is a process? An instance of a program is called a process. In simple terms, any command that you give to your Linux machine starts a new process. For example, when you launch Office to write an article, it creates this process. And it's possible to have multiple processes, aka instances, for the same program. There are two types of processes. The first one are the foreground processes. They run on the screen and need input from the user. An example of them are the office programs. The second one are the background processes. They run in the background and usually do not need user input. An example of them is the antivirus that you use. You can start a foreground process either from the dashboard or you can run it from the terminal. So if you want to run the Banshee media player, you can go to dash type in Banshee and you can run the media player this way. Otherwise you can go to terminal and type in Banshee and execute the command. When using the terminal you will have to wait until the foreground process runs. If you start a foreground process or a program from the terminal then you cannot work on the terminal till the program is up and running. To avoid such a situation, you can run the program and send it to the background so that the terminal remains available to you. Let's learn how to do this. For running a process on the background, you need to start the program by typing in the command name. Once you execute the program, you need to press in Ctrl plus Z, then type BG to send process to the background. So if we try the same on terminal, we need to put in the command name for the process or the program and when it starts running we need to press in control plus Z which will stop the process then we need to type in BG to send the process to the background this way you can send the process to the background and keep the terminal free you can use the command FG to continue a program which is stopped and bring it to the foreground the simple syntax for this utility is FG space the job name an example for this is, we will launch the Banshee Media Player, stop the process and then we will type in FG to continue the process on the foreground. Let's look at some other important commands to manage processes. Starting with top, this utility tells the user about all the running processes on the Linux machine. The syntax for this utility is top. So when we run this utility on the terminal, you would find a lot of fields with different abbreviations which we will learn now one by one. So starting with the PID, it is the process ID of each task. You can see here that it differs for each task or process. The user is the username of the task owner. So it can vary from root to as many user accounts that you have on your Linux system. The PR is the priority. It can be 20 which would be highest or minus 20 which would be lowest. NI is a nice value of a task. The VIRT that you read on the screen is the virtual memory used. It shows memory in kilobytes. The RES is the physical memory used and it also shows in kilobytes. SHR is the shared memory used and it also shows in kilobytes. The S is the status. There are five types of the same. The first one is D which says uninterruptible sleep. R is running. S is sleeping. T is traced or stopped. And the last one Z is for zombie. The CPU percentage that you see is the percentage of CPU time. The percentage of memory is the physical memory used. Time plus tells us about the total CPU time. And the command is the command name. We will discuss some of these fields in this tutorial. The next one is the PS utility. This utility stands for process status. It is similar to the task manager that pops up in a Windows machine when we use Control plus Alt plus Delete. This command is similar to the top command but the information displayed is different. You can use these syntaxes with the PS command. Let us try them. So to check all the processes running under a user, you need to use 
this command. It will give us all the information on processes and programs running under Guru 99. You can also check the process status of a single process by using the syntax ps space pid. But first, we need to find the pid of a process, which we can do by typing in pid of space the process name. Here, we will type in Banshee and check its PID. So it says 2783. So let's go ahead and check the process status of this single process. This is how you can get information on the status of a single process. This command terminates running processes on a Linux system. The syntax for the kill command is kill space PID. In order to use this utility, again, you need to know the PID of a process that you want to kill. Let us try it with an example. Let's say we have the Mozilla Firefox program running on our system, and we want to kill it using the terminal. For this, you need to find out the PID of the program Firefox. So now we know the PID of the program Firefox, let's go ahead and kill it. If the terminal does not return with an error, it implies that the program was terminated successfully. Linux can run a lot of processes at a time, which can slow down the speed of some high priority processes and result in poor performance. To avoid this, you can tell your machine to prioritize processes as per your requirements. This priority is called niceness in Linux and it has a value between minus 20 to 19. The lower the niceness index, the higher would be the priority given to that task. The default value of all the processes is zero. To start a process with a niceness value other than the default value, you need to use the following syntax. It says nice space hyphen n, then the nice value than the process name. If there is some process already running on the system, then you can re-nice its value using the syntax. Let us understand this by an example. So let us launch the Banshee Media Player with a nice value other than the default value which is 0. So here we have chosen 19 as a nice value for this program. Now let us run it. Now after cleaning the terminal with the clear command, we will now run the top utility and check the niceness value of the program Banshee. So here we have the Banshee Media Player and its niceness value shows 19. Now for renicing the value of an already running process, we need to know its PID. And as it shows here, the PID for the Banshee Media Player is 3844. So let us go ahead and renice its value from 19 to minus 20. For this, we need to type in sudo renice, then the new nice value which would be 20 here, then hyphen p, then the pid which was 3844. Once we execute this command, sudo would ask for the password. Upon entering the password, terminal would tell us that the nice value of the process id 3844 has been changed from 19 to minus 20. This is how you can prioritize the processes running on your Linux system and make it more efficient. Moving on to DF utility, it reports the free disk space on all the file system. The syntax is DF. Upon running this utility, we will see all the file systems on our computer with the used and the available disk space. If you want the above information in a readable format, then you can use the DF utility with this option. Now you can see the total size, the used and the available disk space on your computer. This command shows the free and the used memory on the Linux system. You can use the arguments free space hyphen m to display output in megabytes or you can go with free space hyphen g to display the output in gigabytes. Let's try them. So if we type in free space hyphen n, we will see that the total memory on this system is 1002 megabytes and out of it 860 megabytes have been used. This is how you can check the free and the used RAM on your Linux system. Let us summarize quickly. 
Any running program or a command given to a Linux system is called a process. A process could run in foreground or background. The priority index of a process is called nice in Linux. Its default value is 0 and it can vary between 20 to minus 19. The lower the niceness index, the higher would be the priority given to that task. Let us go through the utilities as well. The PG command sends a process to the background. The FG command runs a stopped process in foreground. Use top to get details on all active processes. PS gives the status of processes running for a user. PS space PID would give the status of a particular process. PID of space process name gives the process ID of a process or program. Kill space PID terminates a process or a program. Nice starts a program with a given priority. Renice changes the priority of an already running process. DF would give you the free hard disk space information on your system. And free tells the free RAM details on your system. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one.